Hi guys, welcome back to the Department of Filtration. Today we're going to be looking at a genuine Toyota filter. 90915YZZD2. So this genuine Toyota filter. We've got our little, bought from the dealership. Little Toyota. Holograph on the top. What do we got here on the front? Before installation, please make sure part catalog. I'll make sure I part catalog things. <laughs> Few engine applications on here. Twenty two R. Toyota Engineering made in Thailand, so it's not a made in Japan filter. We just got our installation instructions on the back. Same in Japanese on the side. All right. So nice. Typical matte finish Toyota filter. It's on the top. Toyota oil filter with Denso. I'm pretty sure that's a Denso part number. Made in Thailand. <coughs> Instructions again. This cool graphic and it's all printed on there. Again, nice plastic wrap. As always with our Toyota filters, they've got a pre-lubed gasket on the top, which always makes them hard to get off. Hard for me to get the gasket off the thing, not hard to get the filter off the engine that does a good job of keeping it lubed up. Let's see if I can pry this out. Put them in there good. There we go. Yep, so it's one of these ones with a little lip on it. I'm not going to pull it away because they're hard to get back in. That little lip. A nice. Mould over the top. Leave that in there. Sits just proud over the top, so it's not a huge thing, but they work pretty well. Got our eight little inlets there. Go ahead and get it cut open to see what we're looking at. Now I just noticed something which is interesting when I cut this open. I remember a little while back. I uh, saw a filter video and there's a 9095YZZG2 instead of D2. I remember I was interested because the application list on that box is the exact same as this one. I remember that because I used to have a 22R. Hilux with a 22R and this filter is what I used to use on it. And I remember that that one had the same application list with a slightly different part number. And I know already that that is very different from what's on the inside. Because we'll take, take a quick sneak peek. And we can see that this is a very much a modern Toyota style filter. Now I'm not sure that video was American. I'm not sure if this is an Australian version. They get here and the G2 is one that you guys, American guys, get there. Or whether this is a superseded new one and it used to be one with metal end caps and now they've changed it to the to no end cap style filter. 
which I'm interested because uh, as far as I can see, I think they might they might well be changing all their filters over to that style because I've well, I've done three. This is my third Toyota one I've done now, and they're all the same. Some of them. We know that the last one that I did subbed and that had a new in, new style, no end cap one, and now this one does. And the one I did a fair while ago is the same. The only filter, the Toyota filter that I bought it recently that doesn't have it is the old 2H diesel oil filter, which I would hazard a guess they're not going to change that one because it only fits that engine, not a whole lot of others, and they haven't made that engine since the 90s, so the 30 years old now, the latest ones, and they don't fit anything else. So I hazard a guess that they're not going to change them, but anything else that fits a whole lot of things, it's quite possible. I know, well, this fits 22R, they were made in 19. 90 or very early 90s and I doubt that these would have been like that back then but yeah so it's very interesting another one of these in capitalist so I got our base plate out hole eight holes can get in five threads so it's pretty nice there A nice ceiling surface there for the uni drain back valve, and it's pretty thick. Nice plate. There's nothing on there. And now, uni drain back valve sits there nice, covers the holes. It's just rubber. It's pretty springy, nice rubber. They have to be one of the highest quality rubbers I've seen around here. And of course, we've got our end capless filter element with our leaf spring. Look at the can. Thickness of about 0 0.5, 0 0.6 there, so it's pretty decent can for the size filter. Certainly nothing wrong there, and there's no rust or nothing, it's just nice. You know, we do have a leaf spring, and I have talked about these before. Just because of the design of these end capless ones, I have to use leaf spring. There's nothing solid to swing a coil spring off on the bottom. And they use this, one thing that I don't normally like is, yeah, leaf springs have a metal on metal seal in the end cap of the canister. And I don't particularly like metal on metal seals, but they've got this nice erased bit of glue there. It sits nicely up against the, the leaf spring there. And they're a proper leaf spring, like it's not cheap or flimsy, and it fits perfectly in the can. So it is well designed, like if I had to pick a filter with a leaf spring, it was the one to use, I would, I would be picking a Toyota leaf spring for sure. You see, they're just pretty nice, and they're really solid. And these bent up edges help with the leaf spring not getting bent when you drop it. And they've got a little coil spring loaded bypass, which works nicely. And now, little center core with holes. Around the bottom, and now 
any drain back valve sits on sits on there nicely. Seals around the top nicely. Once again, holes nice and clean cut. There's no sharp edges that might get caught, and even that end's got a nice fold on it. Can't have a fold on the bottom. And then that leaves us with our element ourselves. So in the construction of this, there is no metal. The end caps are got this plastic glued rim to strengthen it in the middle, but then each pleat is individually glued. So it makes this type of filter is designed to make the maximum use out of the size filter that you can get the most usable element most usable element in there keeping it strong so I'll get this cut apart and we'll see how much element we got in there what it looks like right so we got that media cut out and comes in about 1.6 meters General width of about 55 mil. It's a little bit hard to measure because some of it's left in the stuck in the glue. And I'll take a look at the under the microscope. So it looks pretty high quality to me. I like the look of the media under the the microscope and it's nice and evenly coloured and feels good. So all in all it just looks like a very typical Toyota filter how they're making them now. There's certainly no issues with anything. Um, certainly high quality. It's just a little bit of a shame that the design means I have to use leaf springs. They could use coils, it would be great, but the way that they make the leaf springs doesn't leave mu too much to be desired. They're pretty nice in how they are. And, and when you put them together, they have a fair bit of spring compared to some other... You can actually see that it does sit away and you can spring it down where some others sit right on the right on the camera and you can't open so there you have it folks that is the Toyota 90915 YZZD2